Now it's been a while since I've been let loose on a team bus, so I am very much looking forward to getting back on one, particularly because it's this, the UAE Team Emirates bus, which I'm told is the most powerful team bus in the Pro Peloton. Most importantly though, let's see what's inside. How good is their coffee machine? Whoa, look at this. This is a plush team bus. I just want to stroke everything. Look, it's got like suede roof, suede panels there. Loving the color scheme, very mellow. This is a relaxing team bus for a start. Now, we have eight very comfortable seats up front, but this being the Tour de France with teams of nine, that means someone else is going to be sat further back. And I'm told Matteo Bono is the man who sits right at the back. That is his preferred place to travel, not like he's on the naughty step or something. Now, these seats are brand spanking new. So although the bus itself isn't completely new, it has had a total refit. So this is all completely bespoke to the UAE Team Emirates team. I do like their taste, I'm not gonna lie. I think light grey team buses might be the way forward. Right, let's move a little bit further back, shall we? Each rider has their own little docking station here. So they've all got places to put mobile phones, team radios, we've got a little charging station for phones or Garmin's or head units. We've also got a place to hang your helmet. Right, moving a little bit further back, we're now into more of the soigneurs realm. So we've got a little bit of a kitchen here, nice and compact. We've also got a window where we can look out. That's a luxury for the soigneurs. Then in here, this is our freezer unit, currently full of frozen water. Then in here, we have our fridge. At the moment, it's all full of fizzy drinks and water. The coffee machine. We've gone for the pod variety of coffee machine. Excellent for convenience. Always get a good quality brew out of that. And then convenience is clearly high on the list of priorities here. We've got disposable cups as well, but it's sugar. What's the pod of choice? Red, a red pod. Don't know what that means. Uh, printer up there. Always useful for results or printing out anything for the riders to see in terms of their race route. Uh, seems like a luxury, but no, that is an essential. What else have we got down here? Second entrance onto the team bus, of course. And then let's have a look under here. Well, tell you what, this is quite interesting. So massive thing of disinfectant. Cleanliness is super, super important in teams. If you imagine so many people living in close proximity, for a three week race. Everyone's tired, so immune systems are low. So that is probably gonna be running empty by the end of the tour because everything needs to be scrupulously clean all the time. Uh, we've got a microwave oven in there. Grill, combi, crisp, chocolate. More convenience, I like it. Uh, and then a bin. That's not terribly exciting, is it? Now, further back still, we are in very much the territory of the Swan Year. So this is obviously a place to have meetings. You can see there's a table that fits in here, but all the storage under the seats is given away to Swan Year. So that is dressings and stuff to keep the riders nice and safe and comfortable. This one, ha ha, it's a thirsty team, spare coffee cups, nice. And on these seats, I suspect the riders will be getting their embrocation put on before a stage. So the soigneurs will give their legs a bit of a rub. Brilliant when you've got super, super tired legs. And then you can also have a little bit of a mini meeting in this bit as well. Come on then, further back. We've yet to see the showers. Oh yeah, check this out. Stylish bathroom and a particularly nice touch. There's a seat in the shower. That's how you know you've had a long, tough race, is when you have to sit down in the shower. Still, after all these years, slightly perplexed at the fact there's two shower heads in there. It's, it's not a big shower for two, but anyway, there you go. Maybe it's just a really luxurious place for one. Then we've got the toilet in there. Nice suite, but it's a toilet. Then moving back, the final seating area, Matteo Bono's territory. So again, we've got some more Swan Year storage stuff. We've got towels and things in there. And then, whoa, look at that. So that is obviously just an absolute fraction of what the team is gonna need for the Tour de France. But the Swaniers will stock it every day so that the riders can just amble back here in the morning before the stage start, pluck their favorites out, or indeed, I suspect, with a protein bar post-stage if you're a little bit hungry on the way to the hotel on a long transfer. 
What else have we got? So this is Named Sports. We've got energy bar, apricot flavor. We've got some gels over here. Total energy shot. What's that? Extra strong. Crikey. To be used sparingly, I imagine. We've got team hair dryers. <laughs> That's amazing. Damn, we'd have absolutely loved this. Then we've got a stash of helmets here. There we go. These are their aero helmets, the aero met helmets that they've got. Oh, right. Ooh, nice TV screen in the wall there. It's pretty cool. I like it back here. This is a good spot. Well, I'm not going to lie. It might be the first team bus I've looked around in a while, but this goes into my top five all-time team buses. Oh, yeah. If you've got a top five all-time list of team buses, then make sure you let us know in the comments section down below. But I think... This is a strong contender, even for your list as well. Now, if you're a fan of checking out behind the scenes at pro races like this, the Tour de France, then do make sure you subscribe to GCN. It's completely free to do so. Just click on the globe. And then if you want some more content right now, we've got another great team bus tour just down there. Or to see another bit of team infrastructure, the mechanics trucks, which is like the best bike shop you've ever seen on wheels. That's just down there.